everyone and welcome back to Mary's Creative Decor. I know it's been a, close to a month since I recorded my last video, um, but I have been out of town in Phoenix, Arizona with my daughter who has been a little bit under the weather. And I didn't have my craft supplies down there. But I did do a, a mini makeover on her home. And if you guys are interested in seeing that and some of the things that I did for her home, uh, you can visit me at my other channel, Furniture Redesign by MBM. And I will leave a link to that in the description box below. But to get started on the project for today, these are the, some of the items that I pulled out to work on. I have this wooden tray. Um, which I got from the flea market. Now I got three of these uh, wooden trays. They're handmade um, from the flea market for about $20. But of course, if this is more of a country uh, motif, but this is not something that I would use in my home. And I am doing these pieces for my home. So I'm gonna do something with this tray. And I pulled out th these three faces. Now I have washed them down and these two glasses, faces, I'm sorry, and the glass. Um, haven't decided quite yet what I wanna do with it, but I am um, preparing uh, to do over my living room. And that's just to change the accessories. And the color that I'm going with is gonna be in the teal and turquoise family. So I'm gonna do something with these two and make them a teal and a turquoise. Now again, I have already cleaned them. As you can see, they're clean, but this one has like a sticky residue around the lip of the piece. So what I did was pull, pull down my alcohol and I have a cotton ball and I just wanna clean this piece. So that's what I want to do first. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and then I'm going to go through my supplies and see what I have. And I'm going to pull out some supplies to see if I can do this in a teal and a turquoise. So if you want to see how these uh, three pieces turn out or four pieces, then you got to stay tuned. So I'll see you in a big bit once I get this piece cleaned. I'm back and I have that sticky residue off my vase. And I also was able to go through my supplies and pull out some of the things that I wanna use on these items for today. Silver glitter here. I have some turquoise glitter. I have some turquoise confetti glitter. I have two different paints here. I have a gloss paint here and I have a metallic turquoise paint. So we'll be using those, I'm sure. I have some bling wrap turquoise. This was in my supply. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree. This turquoise bling wrap I had left over from another project. And here I have some silver, my silver flower bling wrap. And I have this beautiful, um, turquoise bling wrap as well that was left over from another project. So I do have enough of everything that I need to complete this project. I pulled out my E6000 as well as a brush. So I wanna start by doing some painting on one of the vases. So let me get everything cleaned up and we'll figure out what we wanna do with the vases. So here I am and I'm ready to paint the inside of my glass. I have my enamel turquoise paint that I wanna use. But before I do that, I'm gonna take um, cotton ball and some alcohol and I just wanna clean out the inside because I'm gonna start putting that paint on the inside. Now that I have the inside of the glass clean, I can apply my enamel paint. So I'm gonna just squirt it on the inside of the glass and use my paintbrush to spread it out. Now this is probably gonna take a couple of coats, 
So we're gonna go ahead and get it spread out to see what it looks like with the first coat. It looks like I'm getting really good coverage, but we're gonna finish painting this on the inside. And then I wanna take my other glass face and I just wanna paint half of it. Now to do this, I'm gonna use my metallic paint. Once again, I'm just gonna take my metallic paint and I wanna squirt it on the vase. And I'll use the same brush to spread it out. Again, I'm only gonna do half of the vase. So let's get this done. Here I'm gonna just use the brush to go along the outside of the groove here. And this will give me my straight line for half of the vase. And I'll continue painting. Again, it looks like I'm getting pretty good coverage, even though you see some blotchiness, but I'm just gonna continue painting. Let this dry, add a second coat or two if needed, and I'll come back. The metallic paint is dry on my vase, and the enamel paint is dry in the glass. Now they both are the same colors, so now I'm ready to attach them. I'll be using the E6000 to attach the bottom of the glass to the bottom of the vase. I'm gonna set it aside and we can work on the second glass vase. For this project, I pulled out my Mod Podge my turquoise fine glitter, my silver fine glitter, and the turquoise and silver confetti glitter. The vase is sectioned off in eight sections. So what I wanna do is take my Mod Podge and I wanna paint it on two sections in turquoise and two sections in silver, and then I'll repeat the process. So first I wanna open up my Mod Podge. I'm gonna pour a little bit in a container and I'll add a couple of drops of water to that just to thin out the Mod Podge. I have a towel on hand and this is to make sure that my Mod Podge doesn't run out of the two sections that I want it on. Then I take my confetti glitter and I add it to the Mod Podge mixture. Now I'm skipping over two sections and I'm adding Mod Podge to the second section. I'll add glitter to that as well. I'll th set this aside, let it dry, and come back, add a second coat of the Mod Podge. It's been about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm ready to add my second coat of the Mod Podge mixture to the top of the glitter. I make sure there's no Mod Podge on the top of my vase and then I take my confetti glitter and I add it first to the Mod Podge mixture. Once I get that sprinkled on, I go ahead and add the fine glitter on top. I'll give this another 15 minutes to set and we'll come back and add the silver. And just like that, the turquoise is ready and now I want to take that same Mod Podge mixture and add in my silver. Now 
Now that I have my first coat of silver on, I'm gonna let it dry, come back, add more Mod Podge with the confetti silver and silver on top, just as I did with the turquoise. Good morning, I'm back and now it's time to work on the tray. The first thing I wanna do is take the hinges or the handles off the sides of my tray. Now that I have the handles off, the boards at the bottom of the tray are not flush. And also on this side, it doesn't even come all the way across. But I'm not gonna worry about that. I just wanna take it outside and sand it smooth. I'm back and I took my box outside and I sanded the edges back and got them as smooth as possible. I also sanded the inside and the bottom of my box just to smooth it out, make sure I don't have any splinters. Now I wanna take it and paint it with this spray paint by Rust-Oleum, and then I'll spray over the top of that with some silver metallic paint. I'm using the black first uh, because this is raw wood. I added that one black coat of paint is dry, so I'm now ready to use this metallic silver paint to go over the black. The paint is drying on the box. Now I'm ready to go ahead and embellish my vases. So let's begin by working on the taller vase. Again, the front of it is clear and this is how it's turned out. So I'm gonna take here this bling wrap because it's self-adhesive and I wanna first go up the seam to separate the clear from the teal or turquoise. I'm gonna take the last little bit and I'm gonna go in the middle of those two seams. I use what's left of this bling wrap and go around the clear part of the bottom of the vase. Now I've already cut this bling wrap to size to go around the top part of the glass. I have single rows of the flower part of it that I cut out and I wanna use it in between each of the turquoise bling wrap that I left. I wanna use it a single row in between and I will do it off camera to save time. I'll be right back. I decided to show you guys a little bit of how I added this bling to the front of the glass. I used my hot glue gun with my Gorilla Glue Stick to add it to the vase. Looking pretty good. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on the other vase. This one is already pretty, it doesn't need anything, but I'm gonna take the same bling wrap and I'm gonna go between the silver and the blue with this bling wrap just to separate it. I'm gonna again use my hot glue gun to accomplish this. Very, very pretty. 
I'm gonna get the other ones done off camera and come back. I went out and got my tray and it's dry and now we're ready to embellish. I have my flower bling, I have this gold bling and I have three uh, tapes. I have the mirror tape, um, but I really want to use this one because it's wide enough. Hopefully we'll have enough to go around the top and I won't have to use the other one. So let's get started by taking this bling wrap and I'm gonna use my hot glue gun and glue it to the bottom of my tray. Now I do wanna leave just a little overhang because I will be adding legs. So I'm adding it to the lower part of my tray. Now I'm gonna take the gold wrap and I'm gonna go right above the flower bling. Again, I'm gonna use the hot glue gun to add it to the piece. take a single row of the flower bling and add it to the last row around the box. Now I'm ready to add this beautiful gold tape around the top of the box. Let's hope that I have enough to completely go around the perimeter of the box. Just enough. This is all that I have left. Wow. Now I want to show you what I'm going to do with the rest of the box. I have to put a liner on the inside and I also have to lift up the legs. I was in my stash and I found this gold paper or this gold wrap that I used from an, another project. I'm going to use that. I've already cut it to size and I found these uh, drawer pulls that from another project. I've already painted them silver and I'm going to put them on the bottom of my tray to lift it up. So I decided to use the original pools. They were black. I took my gold spray paint and I spray painted them gold. Now I'm just going to use this ruler to make sure that it's centered correctly before screwing it down. I'm going to get my handles attached to my tray and I'm going to come back with all three pieces on display. I'll see you in a bit. Here's all three of my pieces complete. I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. Now, because I've been away for over two weeks visiting my daughter and taking care of her, I came back home. I had to get a video out and I went in my closet and this is what I pulled out to bring to you. So if you're out there watching and you enjoyed it, 
it's time to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. Now here's a closer look at the gobbler with a face. This is how pretty it turned out. And this is the shorter vase. And I think this one is my favorite. I also added these little rhinestones around the top edge of the vase. Absolutely stunning. Let me know which one is your favorite. And here's a closer look at what was a farmhouse tray, now a beautiful tray. I want to say thank you all for standing by me and thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.